There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, on the spoon. Oh, come on, baby. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We finally have some good weather, and we are taking the boat off shore. I've only taken the boat out the pass a couple times. The furthest I've ever gone so far is three miles, but today it's supposed to be slick out there. We're probably going to run about 10 to 15 miles in the little bay boat and see if we can't get on some fish. We're going to put this trolling motor to work, hit some bottom spots, see what all we can get on. We're going to run by Beach Bum Outdoors first, pick up all the bait we need for offshore. We do have have a lot of frozen bait it is snapper season uh, so if you need any cigar minnows some northern mackerel all that some squid come check out beach bum outdoors i'll have the address link down below everything you need to run offshore but we're gonna load up the boat head on out there i'll catch y'all we here see if we can't catch us some live bait take offshore with us we got chris up there working the sabiki gonna put around see if we can find anything come on chris not even the slightest nibble yeah, I ain't marked. Oh, there's something on, a little, little something on bottom, not much, but. Oh, oh, you got one. Oh, oh, we got something. Oh, you. Dang it, Chris. Go back to that spot. Chris just lost another babe. Hold on. What are you down. doing? Going back down. Those are the little, uh, they look like thread thin herring. I think there's something wrong with the sabiki rig you gave me. Oh, is that right? We just got out here about 10 miles and uh, marked some bait. He's got bowed up on something good here. Ruby. Rubies! Double ruby! They're definitely not great baits, but they will work for some butterfly baits. They're not great for a uh, live bait though, for these snapper. At least I don't ever have any luck on them. You got them? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> don't fall in the water. We're only like nine or ten miles out. I don't know if y'all can see the condos in the camera, but we're not in like blue, blue water, but it is fairly clear out here. Much bluer than we usually have this close. There is a lot of boats out here. This is the uh, trolling corridor. And so there's a ton of pyramids all through here. So a lot of boats come out here. There's a lot of charter boats out here right now. Red Snapper just opened. But a lot of times in this blue water, snapper fishing is not as good. So if Chris can get hooked up here. Oh, 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 he got him. You got a good one, Chris. Red lips for the wind. We're in about 60 foot of water right here. Well, that's a nice Ooh. ice. All right, let's bump over, see if we can find the spot now. Let's hit the spot lock. Thanks to Momentum Marine for hooking us up with that trolling motor. We are going to butterfly a ruby red lips and see what we got. I've seen the charter boats drop down some uh, pull ups and small snapper. Hopefully, a little butterfly bait gets something a little bit bigger here. I got a little knocker rig rigged up here. Hook up this butterfly bait. Send it on down to the bottom, see what we find. This water is beautiful. All right, there's bottom. We're already getting pecked at. See if we get anything of size. Hopefully a big one will swim by and pick it up. I think I lost my bait. All right guys, just pulled up to another spot, marking some decent fish. We're gonna drop anchor here, or the eye pilot anyways, and uh, drop down some baits. There was a charter boat they just left. I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe they caught their limit. Uh, but uh, we're gonna drop some baits down, see if we can't get hooked up. All right, went ahead and butterflied another ruby red lips. Drop it here, see if we can make something happen this time. We are now in 100 foot of water. After that charter boat left, two other boats pulled up. Hopefully they know each other because they are right on top of each other. <laughs> All right, there's bottom. There's a fish. There's a fish. Good boy. Oh, feels like the right one. Let's just see if it's the right size. Come on, buddy. They do got to be 16 inches here. Ah, oh, pulled it right here. What? 
Got him all the way under the boat and pulled the dang hook. No, I didn't see it. I switched to a smaller piece of cigar minnow here. That's what we got hooked up on. There's definitely fish here, but I don't think we got giants by any means. Switched to a little smaller presentation. Got to save some of our baits too. Drop her back down, see if we can get hooked up again. You quit fighting on you? Yeah, quit fighting. Did you lose him? No, he's still on He just thought he was big. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, probably going to be a hair short, but it's close to a keeper. 14, 14 and a half. It's close. It's close. There's a fish. Oh, something decent. Come on. Same thing, he hit hard and then gave up. It's not a bad fish right there. I think he's still gonna be short. Easy there, buddy. Chris, Chris has one on too. What you got there, Christopher? Is it a keeper? Oh, decent. 15 inches headed home. Let's see what Chris has. Fourteen and a half. Dang it. Seems like all the keepers moved on somewhere else. Hook us up another little piece of SIG here. I only dropped mine about halfway that time. Send her on down again. There's got to be a keeper here. Commit to it. There he is. There's a fish. Be good for me. Be good for me, baby. We need a keeper up in here. We need a keeper. It's not gonna be a keeper. So many short snapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got one? Oh, yeah. They gonna be a keeper? That's a keeper there. All right, let's see it. Let's see if Chris can do it. Oh, yeah. Don't let him fool you, Chris. That boat seems excited. I didn't see it come over the gunnels, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he's really hooked. You got him. You got him. Oh, that looks like a keeper. That ought to be a keeper. Don't let him flop out of the boat there, Chris. Oh, look. Oh, he made it. Did he, he make it? it? He made it. 17. We got the first keeper in the boat. Caught by Chris. All right, so there's keepers here. We got one, three more to go. Just gotta work real hard for them. Super hard. Got you one. Yeah. Got a good one? Uh, like a 15, Not a bad one. 15 extra maybe. I think I got stolen again. I'm gonna have to put that heavier weight on here now. Throw your... Uh... So the keeper, ooh, it's gonna be close. Might be a hair short. I'm gonna put a heavier weight on this knocker rig, get down quicker. I think I'm getting eight off on the way down by these smaller fish. Hooking on about half a cigar minnow. This is gonna help me get down the bottom much quicker. Get through all those little fish. See if we can find us a keeper now. Can't let Chris be the only one to put a keeper in the boat. All right, got the bottom much quicker. There he is. There's a good fish. That might be my keeper. If we can get him up here. Come on, baby. Be good to me. Be good to me. We gotta get another one in the box. Can't let Chris be the only one. Come on, Mr. Snapper. He's gonna be close. Oh. That's it. We got us one. We got a keeper. All right, Woo. don't fall in the water, Brad. All right, check it out, y'all. First keeper snapper in the new boat. 
pretty pumped about it we're about 12 miles offshore right now battling a bunch of small fish down there but we got two in the box this is my first keeper he's just over 16 but honestly the smaller ones are the better eaters anyways super pumped to finally put a red snapper in the boat we're in a little 19 foot uh, bay boat right now 12 miles offshore here in alabama you can only keep two per person i got one chris got one so we got two more before we have our limit it's a uh, it's about 4.20 in the afternoon, and uh, we're going to try to get two more. And then if we have time, we do have some blue water. We're going to troll around, see if maybe we can't get on some pelagics here super close to land. Let's go. Another good one. This might be Chris's limit here. That's a nice fish. Let's see if I can get him up. You got him. You got him. That is definitely a good fish. Sometimes those little ones will fool you, though. Let's see what we got. Is it gonna be it? Oh yeah. Ooh. He's really close. He's feisty. Yeah. He, he should be bad. there. Yeah. He's probably gonna be 17. Dropping my bait back down after catching my first keeper. Is it gonna be just, there, Christopher? Unless she's just chubby. She is chubby. She's a chubby girl. Oh yeah. 17. Nice. All right, we got room for one more. Trying to do some trolling. Oh, that was a good bite. Dang. That was the best bite I felt all day and I freaking missed him. They're still coming after it. There he is. He got it that time. He wanted that one bad. I feel, oh, dang it. Oh, this one. Oh, is that, a, is that a snapper? I don't know. I don't know if that's a snapper, man. Oh, this is, this is, something good. is he head shaking? He took you down like a grouper, bro. Chris might... That might be a grouper. There are amberjack on this rack, too, though. Chris is getting whooped. Oh, I'm gonna get him up. Nope. You got him. You got him. Oh, no. That might have been sharp. Dang. That was a good fish. He had me all He took you straight down, yeah. I think that was a grouper, man. All right, back on bottom here. Already getting some nibbles. See if they'll commit for me. We only need one more keeper. We're gonna go troll around, see if we can find some pelagics. Oh, that was big hit. That was big hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, dang. I don't think he's as big as what he felt like. He freaking smoked it, but he, uh, he thought he was bigger than he really is definitely not a keeper we're just cutting these some cigar minnows in half and i've just been hooking it once wrapping it around and hooking it again helping it stay on the hook a little bit better they are getting a wee bit mushy already back down and getting smoked again there he is there he is there he is there he is, there he is. that's got to be a keeper that's got to be a keeper there come on baby Stay pin. Stay pin. Same thing, it feels smaller now that I'm getting them coming up. We'll see, he's gonna be close. I know he's not either. Dang. These things hit so aggressive, but he's not gonna be a keeper. Pretty little thing. He'll be a keeper next year. Another SIG going on here. A little butterfly action. Again, we only need one more keeper to have our limit. All right, I'm gonna try one more of these butterfly ruby red lips after Chris's grouper-like bite. See if we can get a giant right off the bottom. There he is, oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Yes, stay pinned, baby. Come on, this might be our last keeper. And then I'm gonna see if I can hook into whatever you've been hooking on the jig. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. We got us another keeper. This is probably the biggest one of the day, honestly. All right, let's get a measurement on this bad boy. Ow. Hey. 
right at 18 inches. Heck yeah, biggest fish of the day. Let's freaking go. All right, check it out. Again, no giants out here, but biggest one of the day, 18 inches. That's gonna wrap up our Alabama limit of red snapper. Chris has been hooking into some big stuff and that rainbow runner on the spoons. We're gonna throw a spoon around, see what else we can get into out here in this blue water. We're gonna throw this bad boy on ice. Let's go. A limit of snapper. I'm gonna drop this big spoon down and jig it. See if we can hook into whatever big fish Chris was hooked into earlier. All right, there's bottom. Just gonna jig the spoon. See if we can get something to come whack it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, on the spoon. Oh, let's see what we got. Big fish. Oh, come on, baby. No, he just broke me off. Dang it. All right, guys, we are back at the house after finally catching some snapper. It is officially red snapper season, which I know a ton of y'all love to come down to our area. It is probably the most targeted and the most beloved fish here in the Gulf Coast, especially from a lot of y'all that travel down to this area. Unfortunately, a lot of the big ones have seemed to be pushed further out. A lot of the bigger boats that I know have been having to run 30, 40, even 50 miles to go get some of the bigger snapper. We ended up about 13 miles out in the bay boat and were able to catch our limit. Now, we, of course, we didn't get any giants, that's all right, because honestly, the smaller ones are the better eaters. Anyways, so today we're going to do one of my favorite recipes with some fish. We're going to blacken up this snapper. And we're going to make some nachos. we got the boys hanging out here with us today. Hey. Already got the snapper cleaned up. Hey. Hey, bro. <laughs> you tell everybody what your name is? What's your I, name? I mean Notch. You're Notch? I'm Kelton. You're Kelton. All right, so we're gonna get our snapper fillets laid out on the plate, just like so. We already got a little bit of butter and some oil heating up in the skillet here. But first, we're gonna season the fish. We're gonna use a little bit of Tony Satchery's. We're actually working on doing some bearded brad seasonings. Gonna do a few different ones, maybe some sauces as well. If that is something y'all are interested in, comment down below, kind of in the beginning stages of this, trying to figure it all out, but. If you'd be interested in different seasonings and sauces and all that kind of stuff, let me know down in the comments. But first, let's season this up with some Tony's. But if you hang on, hang on. But if you hold it up, you just sprinkle it nice and gently. You don't want to get too crazy, okay? I I know. <laughs> Tony's will do that to you. and some sneezes out of the way. We are ready to blacken this snapper. Right. <laughs> now red snapper is delicious just about any way you cook it. Grilling it, blacking it, fry it, whatever you want to do, are however we are we frying it? you like your fish. No, we are going to blacken it. seasoned up we're gonna put it in the pan here all right we're gonna go ahead and toss some of this snapper in the hot butter here get it blackened up why is it so soft this probably is not the uh traditional blackening i know a lot of y'all do a cast iron that's the way to go Cast iron in the kitchen kind of makes a mess. Splatters everywhere, smokes up the kitchen, seasoning like crazy. So uh, we're gonna make do with what we got. All right, we got all the blackened fish ready to go. We're gonna start out 
I don't even know how you pronounce these chips. Some chips Cordy bought. Lay out some chips on the plate here. I usually just like spread the chips out. <coughs> of course, take some shredded cheese. <coughs> Cover your mouth when you're talking. Sprinkle some cheese all over your chips. Just like so. Then why do you say just like so? Because that's how you do it. What? Pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Melt the cheese. Makes it delicious. And not the um, chips. The chips don't melt. Oh, oh. Can I look at it? 30 seconds. Chips and Can cheese. Delicious. Just gonna take some tongs, break apart this blackened snapper. Can I do it? I got it. I'm just gonna break apart some of these pieces. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna try this a little bite here. Mm -hmm. That was really good, Tom. I think you're gonna like it. I'm just gonna take some of the shredded fish, sprinkle it on the chips. And that's hot. I don't want it on my chips. I just want a regular. Yeah, you don't have to eat it on chips. Me and mommy are just gonna eat it like nachos. When you live down here and you eat a lot of fish, sometimes you get tired of just having regular old fish. So it's nice to switch it up, do some tacos, some nachos, something a little bit different. Obviously on this channel we do a lot of fried fish, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of nachos to switch it up. I think the first time I heard about doing fish nachos was from my buddy Ryan. Um, he does a lot over with JYG Jigs. Or is it, I don't know if it's JYG or Jig. I don't know how they pronounce it. but He does a lot with them. And uh, he does a lot of pompano nachos. And it uh, looks delicious. We've done it a few times. I think I've done it before on this channel. But fish nachos are delicious. So after you melt the cheese, put your fish on. Of course you gotta hit it with a little bit more cheese. You can never have too much cheese with your nachos. Yep. Dad, how is it gonna melt the rest? And usually I still melt it a little bit more. Pop it back in the microwave for just a minute. It's not gonna take a full 30 seconds, you're just gonna melt a little bit of that cheese right on top. Alright, so we just lightly melted some of that. We're gonna take some jalapenos. Yeah. I don't know if there's any jalapenos in there. Sorry, Daddy, there is. I just can't see them. We're Daddy, almost out of jalapenos. Daddy, what's your first? I'll get some right now then. That's alright. <laughs> we got a couple. How is that nacho chip so hard? Well, we gotta have. Some sour cream. I don't like that. I know. I know all nachos. I'm gonna bring fish. So you gonna even eat fish? That is a cool down. All right. There's our sour cream. We got some chimichurri salsa. Hit with a little bit of salsa as well. Nah, never too much. What is it? Then we got some habanero taco seasoning. Or taco sauce, whatever. Hit it with a little bit of hot sauce. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna eat it. And we are ready to go. Hi right, boys. Y'all gonna try some fish? Uh hello. Have I had a pork? The boys are not gonna eat the nachos, but maybe they will try a little bit of black and snack. I don't want black because it's hard sauce. Make sure it's not too spicy. It's fine. Is it? It's not too bad. Danny, you ready? Can you put, I want something on it. Like what? Ketchup. Ketchup? You can have ketchup in the middle. Try without anything. <laughs> you 
You like it? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna eat the whole thing. Something loves some fish, as y'all know. I'm gonna try them. you gonna try it? Yeah. You yeah. tried it on the first bite? You want more? Um, yeah, but it's spicy. Yeah. It's spicy? It's spicy. I tried it so hard. Here, go get your cup. That, that's why it's so hard. It is a tad spicy. Knox tried it the first time, though. He tried too. He doesn't usually like to try the, the fish. He did good, though. Then guess what? I don't know if it ended up on camera. When we were down in the Keys and we caught the mutton snapper, Knox ended up eating a bunch of it. I don't think we had it on a video. Model. I'm a model. Go get your cup. Mom, I, I'm on oh, it's right here. Why are you breathing so much? Why is he breathing so much? Is it patchy? Are you a puppy? <laughs> you seem like you're a puppy. All right, now that they tried theirs. We're gonna try our red snapper nachos. Gonna so get a nice big chunk of fish. Stop. We got the fish, the sour cream, the salsa. Do I get that? Mm. Let's pick one. Thumbs up. Pick one. Now that is so good. I'm going back with another bite. Now what's one? This is fully loaded. Now what's one? Thumbs up. This one? Mm-hmm. And this one is bad, right? This one is bad. That is really good. And it's spicy too. Yeah. Now we're going to find out why it's just hot sauce. Yeah. I'll be honest. Red Snapper is like coveted by everybody that comes down here on vacation. But there are so many more fish in the Gulf that taste way better than my snapper. However, this is really good. Making the nachos and getting a little bit of a twist, all of the flavors, really, really good. So if you're coming down here and you're gonna go catch some red snapper, if you don't wanna do just regular blackening or frying it or doing something basic, switch it up, do a little bit of nachos Everybody loves some nachos. It is absolutely delicious. Oh, you going with another bite? Knox going back for seconds. Uh-huh. And if you are down here, if you're taking your own boat out, make sure you check out Beach Boat Outdoors. We do have everything you need to go off source. Ooh, we have everything you need to go offshore snapper fishing. So come check us out. Beach Bowl Outdoors, Gulf Shores, Alabama. I'll have our address linked down below. You can also order stuff online as well, but. Daddy, so I tried it out milk and I like it. You like it? Out milk. I'm glad you like it. Knox is finally eating some fish. Daddy, but um. Did you eat any more? Are you saying one bite? Daddy, this is my pork. This is my pork, Dad. So you can eat some more milk. This is my pork. Okay. Bites my mouth off. Uh, burn. Excuse you. <laughs> burn. Burn. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all checking out this video. We're going to go ahead and finish up some dinner tonight. Daddy! If you haven't already checked out beachfrontoutdoors.com, pick up all your fish and stuff. If you're coming into town, you can buy it before you get here. Or if you're coming into town, we do have the retail location open in Gold Shores, Alabama. So check it out while in town. These kids are crazy. We're going to the Keys next week. Gonna have a lot of cool videos. So make sure you subscribe. Appreciate it. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.